Practical lessons about strategy execution. First, what is strategy execution? Strategy execution is the implementing and putting into action the strategies planned by the organization. Even the most perfect strategic plan will have no purpose if it will not be executed. Now, I will show you the contrast of strategy formulation and strategy implementation. The need for clear annual objectives. 1. To represent the basis for allocating resources. 2. To be a primary mechanism to evaluate managers. 3. To enable effective monitoring of progress toward achieving long-term objectives. 4. To establish organization divisional and departmental priorities. 5. To keep strategic plan on track. The need for clear policies. Policies refer to specific guidelines, methods, procedures, rules, forms and administrative practices established to support and encourage work towards stated goals. Reasons why policies are important 1. Creates boundaries, constraints and limits 2. Informs employees and managers what is expected of them 3. A basis for management control and to allow coordination 4. Reduces the amount of time managers spend making decisions 5. Promotes delegation of decisions to appropriate managerial levels 6. Clarifies what can and cannot be done in pursuit of organization's objectives. Symptoms of an ineffective organizational structure. 1. Too many levels of management. 2. Too many meetings attended by too many people. 3. Too many attention being directed towards solving interdepartmental conflicts. 4. Too large a span of control. 5. Too many unachieved objectives. 6. Declining corporate or business performance. 7. Losing ground to rival firms. 8. Revenue or earnings divided by number of employees or number of managers is low compared to rival firms. Resistance to change may be the single greatest threat to successful strategy implementation. Three commonly used strategies for implementing changes. One, force change strategy works by giving orders and enforcing the plans. Two, educative change strategy is done by giving enough information to convince people to change. Three, Rational change strategy or self-interest change strategy convince individuals. Four types of resources or assets. 1. Financial resources. 2. Physical resources. 3. Human resources. 4. Technological resources. Managing conflict. Conflict is a disagreement between two or more parties and one or more issues. Conflict is not always bad. Without conflict, it can result to indifference and apathy. Three categories for resolving conflict. 1. Avoidance which is done by ignoring the problem in hopes that the problem will solve itself. 2. Defusion It includes playing down differences between conflicting parties. 3. Confrontation is exemplified by holding a meeting at which conflicting parties can present their views and work through their differences.
Types of organizational structure. 1. The functional structure, the simplest and least expensive alternative. 2. The divisional structure, it is referred to as segments, profit centers, or business units. The divisional structure can be organized in 1. Geographic area, to product or service, 3. Customer and full process. 3. The strategic business unit structure where increases in sales often are not accompanied by similar increases in profitability. The matrix structure, it is the most complex because it depends on both vertical and horizontal flows of authority and communication. 15 guidelines for developing an organizational chart. 1. Instead of chairman of the board, make it chairperson of the board. 2. Make sure the board of directors reveals diversity in race, ethnicity, gender, and age. 3. Make sure the chair of the board is not also the CEO or president of the company. 4. Make sure the CEO of the firm does not also carry the title president. 5. Reserve the title president for fee division, heads of the firm. 6. Make sure the firm has a co. 7. Make sure only presidents of divisions report to the CEO. 8. Make sure functional executives such as CFO, CIO, CMO, CSO, r and CLO, CTO, and HRM report to the CEO, not the COO. 9. Make sure every executive has one boss, so lines in charge should be drawn accordingly, assuring unity of command. 10. Make sure span of control is reasonable. No more than 10 persons report to one. 11. Make sure diversity in race, ethnicity, gender, and age is well represented among corporate executives. 12. Avoid a functional type structure for all but smallest firms. 13. Decentralize, using some form of divisional structure, whenever possible. 14. Use an SBU type structure for large, multi-divisional firms. 15. Make sure executive titles match product names as best as possible in division by product and SPU designated firms. Before ending, let me share the 7 keys to staying healthy, living to 100, and being a well employee. 1. Eat nutritiously 2. Stay hydrated 3. Get plenty of rest 4. Get plenty of exercise 5. Reduce stress 6. Do not smoke 7. Take vitamin supplements. That's it for this video. We hope you learned from what we have discussed. Thanks for watching.